Hey y'all, if you're new here, I'm Shayna, and I'm back with another review for Married to Medicine, season nine. This is the finale. I can't wait for the reunion. I think this was a really good season. So let's go ahead and get into it. Before we do, y'all know the algorithm, all that good stuff. I'm trying to grow my channel. Y'all already know. So if you've been here before, don't forget to hit that subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, comment, share. It's free, but it helps me out tremendously. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, we know that the sex educator was coming, so she came and she speaks to, they said she was speaking to the couples, but Quad was sitting up there too. <laughs> so they're there and we're reminded that this is not the first time they've spoken to a sex educator. So they've done this before. Um, the sex teacher discusses monogamy, versus non-monogamy she says she's been married for 25 years monogamous for 12 and non-monogamous i'm not sure uh exactly if it's like polyamorous or what's going on in the marriage but she's been she hasn't been monogamous in a marriage for 13 years so it works for them and she says she likes having a husband and three boyfriends and Kwa was like oh you busy <laughs> very much so i wonder how many girlfriends the husband has so the couples are basically saying in their confessionals that they're not open to threesomes, but Contessa was a little quiet there. I think Contessa, Dr. Contessa, might be open <laughs> to having somebody else in the bedroom because, you know, she got girl crushes and all that, so I wouldn't be shocked. Just saying. So um, Simone and Cecil do like a demonstration on a pillow, and I'm like, I hope their kids do not see this. Their kids are like grown, and they might come across this <laughs> very much awkward. Uh, Heavenly was recording on her phone and she like, you know this going on my YouTube channel. Now see, this is what this was has been getting you in trouble, Dr. Heavenly. You and this recording and this YouTube channel of yours has been getting you in trouble. So uh after they do their demonstration, uh Jackie and Curtis go up and they go up to do something, but like when you know Dr. Jackie does it, it's not sexy at all. Like it was like, okay, she's trying to be funny, it wasn't giving sexy, and then that was the end of that. So the men gather outside to smoke cigars and discuss, you know, the sex class and what's been going on. They were saying they really don't want threesomes, they don't want to like have anybody else in their marriages. The ladies are saying inside and they're discussing it as well. Um, Heavenly was saying no, like we're not introducing nobody into the, our relationship or none of that. So Toya comments and she's like, you know, but let me say this and I don't want to be judged by the group. But what if, you know, she's just stayed with him because they have children together and they don't want to break up their family. So they decided it's best to have an open marriage rather than just divorcing. So that way they can keep their family together. Um, where are those boyfriends at? I hope they're not anywhere near the house. <laughs> so yeah, that's the case. But I don't, I've never been a fan of like staying together for the kids. Like, yeah, it does help sway the decision, but you can't just be together solely for children. Like you can't, when the, chi the children are grown adults and they out the house with kids they own and it's just y'all two looking at each other in the face, then what? So Kwa was like, she just wanted to cheat on Eugene so bad. Like, clearly she wants to cheat on him at this point. Like, even though the streets was talking and they trying to allegedly say that she already been doing it. Kwa like, look, just, just say that. You want to cheat on him and you want him to be okay with it. And I'm like, girl, see, that's why y'all don't get along. <laughs> Miss Kwa, Miss Kwa, you got it, you got it. <laughs> So Simone uh, gives marital advice and she's like, after 25 years, there's going to be unhappy times in a marriage, but then you will understand if you've been married for a while that it'll pass and those unhappy times don't last forever. Jackie segues into discussing uh, Heavenly and Contessa's friendship because we know Contessa got out of it the last time she tried to bring it up and she just won't rest if they don't uh, discuss it before the trip is over. So they were both saying that the, that the dynamics of their friendship changed and that they're okay with it. And then Heavenly was like, look, Contessa, you're beautiful. And I just real, I hope you realize that you don't have to tolerate any old kind of treatment from your husband just because, you know, he's a man. So Contessa snaps and she's like, look, keep my MFN husband's name out your mouth. Okay, Will Smith. <laughs> okay. Heavenly told her to stop putting her business out there in the streets. And then it wouldn't be nothing for her to talk about. 
And Contessa said, uh, you know, if this isn't a safe space for me to vent and talk, then I ain't going to say nothing else. Heavenly really takes no accountability, and she gets up to leave. I feel like they were on, like, Jackie's trying to resolve something that they already resolved. Just last week when they were at Dr. Jackie's house, when she had them out there eating in the freezing cold, like, Contessa even came up to her and, like, was showing compassion because Heavenly's mother died. Like, they had already kind of worked it out where they could be cordial and amicable and here goes dr jackie like pushing and pushing forcing them to have the same conversation they've had already like five other times and then it just everything that they did just basically dissolved in that moment because therefore you force this conversation again they're both standing firm what they're saying contestants saying keep my name out your mouth and my man's name and heavenly like look i wouldn't have had no reason to have his name in my mouth if you would have just kept your business out the streets yeah, she. I, I kind of feel what Dr. Simone was saying was like, yeah, she put it out there, but it's not for you to run back and continue to talk about. Like, that doesn't give the okay for you to be talking about it when this is your friend. I wish they would have just left it alone. So then Toy and Heavenly get to cussing each other out, and like that apology they just gave each other earlier in the trip was just out the window. <laughs> like, it didn't even matter at that point. So Toya addresses the rumor, uh, you know, her rumor about her allegedly cheating on Eugene with Quad. Quad says she ain't start that rumor, but she repeated it. So Toya, she's asked, you know, are you deflecting because you got that rumor of you allegedly sleeping with your Mary Carpenter? <laughs> and, you know, Toya was like, who's starting the rumors here? Because you're saying you didn't start it. Well, who's starting it? No answer on that. So Simone was like, look, she repeated the rumor about Quad sleeping with the carpenter. We don't know if it's true or not, but she repeated it. And Quad was like, well, where you get that from? She said, from a good, reliable source. I cannot. <laughs> so Quad said, ain't no way that she gave up the goods and she spent all that money on that house. And um, Simone was like, look, in her confessional, she's like, everybody's wondering like how a single woman could afford all this house. A $2 million home plus some renovations. Dr. Simone, get out her, her, her uh, finances. Get out her bank account. You don't know what she's doing to get money. Mind your business. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. That ain't for you to worry about. So Toya said, uh, Quad been a liar since they met. And Quad jumped up like she was about to do something and got escorted out. Um, and Toya was like, you just jealous. Like, you're just jealous of me. I don't believe that Kawhi is jealous or anybody for that matter is jealous of Toya. I really, I really do not. So Kawhi got hood again. She went upstairs. She got the rambling and <laughs> production is hilarious. They like seven minutes later. She's still going off at the mouth. Like y'all, she ain't gonna disrespect me. She from the gutter. She's still hood. You know what? Then like 30 minutes later. 45 minutes later, an hour later, like the moon came up, the animals is like going and running away. <laughs> it's like, come on, quiet, go to bed. Like you don't really rum rambled on about this for an hour. So you're probably off somewhere doing something else, not even thinking about it anymore. So that was funny. Um, the next morning, Damon was disappointed because he was just saying, like, the night before, the men were talking about when they were smoking cigars, they were saying, like, it's good. The ladies were getting along. They were back on a good page. Like, everything was all good. I blame Jackie for this one because, yeah, everybody was on a good page, and then she just ruined it, basically. <laughs> so, uh, the, he's like, it's just disappointing that they fell out again. And it is, but it's been part of it. It's part of charges to the game. It's the name of the game. Like, everybody, all these women together, they're not going to get along. Even though the men always are just so chill, like, whatever. They don't care. So, Simone and Jackie are uh, disagreeing about Heavenly and Contessa and their friendship. Because Dr. Simone, like, look, Heavenly, even, it don't matter what Contessa said. It's not your place to be running it back. And, you know, Dr. Jackie, like, look, if you don't want anybody talking about it, then don't put your business out there. So, I see both sides. Um, it's not like... I mean, yeah, if I've been into my friend and it's like you told something that I told you, that's most definitely a problem. Heavenly was just talking about the show, but Heavenly need to get rid of that YouTube channel. Period. She don't need it. Like, you don't need the money, and I'm sure, I don't even know how you have the time. <clears throat> so, Contessa was talking to Sky, and she like, their marriage is good, and he like, it, it's getting, we're working on it. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's giving forced. Like, it seems like she's trying to convince herself that she's ha now happy in her marriage at this point. It don't seem authentic to me. 
So Eugene had to leave. He got to go to work. Like, he's almost done with the ER. He got to finish his last few shifts there so he can be done with it. So they were about to have church. And he like, I don't know if he just didn't want to go to church or what it was, but he left. So it's Sunday morning. They're about to have church service. Dr. Karen was like, look, I haven't been, to, I haven't really been to church. Like, let me know what to expect. So they basically explained how it goes down in the black church. Um, then just giving him black church etiquette. So they have a church outside in the freezing cold. Why? Y'all, why y'all couldn't have did this in the inside? The same place where that sex educator was is the same place where the pastor should have been. Why are we sitting outside? I guess to cleanse the air? I don't know. And then uh, what he was talking, I'm like, okay, yes, pastor. Like, I'm having church myself in my living room because, you know, I love to go to church and I love to hear the word. But Anelia was standing there while they were praying and her eyes was wide open. Like, did y'all forget to mention, like, you need to close your eyes when the pastor is praying? Sheesh. <laughs> but I give them the benefit of the doubt. It ain't their culture. I don't know, you know, how their culture is. So I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. So, Heavenly is, like, after he's preaching, he's preaching about friendships. She's visibly, visibly still hurt. Like, when she was in her confessional talking about their friendship, like, she was almost in tears. Like, you can see that she's hurt by the demise of their friendship. And Tessa says she's open to moving forward with Heavenly, but, like, she don't trust her pretty much. And after church, everyone's eating breakfast, having small talk. Audra announces that she's pregnant. Everyone's excited. Congratulations again to Audra and Dr. Martin. I believe I, you know, went and took a peek over there on her Instagram page, and it looks like they had the baby. So congratulations to them. I hope they come back next season as full-time cast members. Demote. I ain't trying to take Danielle's check away. So demote her to friend to the show. Even though she don't really need the money, demote her to a friend of and bump Audra up to a main cast member. Audra has much more of a storyline, much more interesting. It gives a young, fun twist on it. They're newlyweds, so we can, you know, it's good to see, like, all the couples are seasoned and they've been married for a while. It's good to see a new, you know, youthful, um, you know, new marriage. Like, they're new, they're newlyweds, they act like newlyweds, they're having fun, they're joking, and I just love to see it. I like it. It brings a new energy to the group. And Anelia don't really got nothing going on. She don't got no storyline. Audra does. I want to hear more about her blended family. She barely spoke about her son, how they're dealing with that, and then the new baby, um, with her career, his, you know, he's a dentist, so now we got two dentists on the scene, him and Dr. Heavenly. I just want to hear more of Audra, less of Anelia. Other than that, I think it was a good season. What happened to Kwai's nephew? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out on the reunion, but y'all let me know what y'all are thinking down in the comments. Subscribe, 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 like, 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 and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.